Hi guys, this is Eric Reed, and I farm down here in Elor, Tennessee. Uh, we grow a lot of cotton here. My family owns and operates the gin here in Elor. You know, we first started with the wide drops mainly for corn, and we all know what wide drops can do for corn. You know, 18 to 20, 25 bushel uh, increase. Well, we said, well, if it works on corn, why can't it work on cotton? So we tried it a little bit the first year and seen it was going to work. So the following year, I ended up buying a uh, used toolbar for $1,500, I think it was, and uh, called Greg up and we got some wide drops in here and uh, we wide drop from now on. We wide drop everything. Every every crop is wide dropped, even the beans. We wide drop the beans, uh, you know. We, we're able to go back through them beans and add more micronutrients or, or potassium or, or potash or whatever it might call for at the time. You can go through there any time and, and not harm those beans and put that put that product just right beside that right right beside that plant. And you can do the cotton the same way, you know. We we do a lot of on farm trials and there's no data like your own data. So we we well, I drop some of the cotton with more micros and more potash. You know, we all know the cotton loves potash and uh, we're able to go back through there and, and add those products, you know, without harming that cotton. Uh, and there again, anytime you can get that product right next to that root ball, it's gonna uptake it. It's the first dew, I mean, that, that night, uh, that, that dew, you know, there'll be just enough dew on that ground to make that product react and go down into that root ball and go right into that system. You know, this this year was extremely wet. We had an abundance of rainfall this summer. Uh, it, was, it was just astronomically crazy how much rainfall we had. And right about that time, we were trying to get a crop side dressed. And uh, with the cotton, we normally wide drop it all. And this year, we got so far behind uh, with all the rainfall that we had to get uh, another company to come in here and help us finish up the side dressing and we ended up dry, uh, slinging uh, urea over the top of the cotton on the last 300 acres that we had. Well, when we got ready to harvest, uh, it was real loud from the cotton that we wide dropped versus the cotton that we slung urea on was 300 pound difference. Uh, the cotton that we wide dropped, it yielded 300 pounds higher than the cotton with urea on it. And, you know, I sold some cotton here last week for 94 cents. If you take 94 cents times 300 pounds, you know, that's $282 an acre. And that's, that's very considerable, especially with, with today's cotton prices, you know, dollar, dollar, dollar 10. You know, that's, that's a lot of money. And we, we won't make that mistake again. Every row of it will be wide drop from now on, no matter how far behind we get or any circumstance, it, it will be wide drop from now on. And we were just blown away at that yield drag from that. And that's the only difference. Both, both applications ended up with 100 units total of nitrogen on, on both applications. So there was no variance in the fertilizer, you know, there was no variance in soil types. It was all the same. That was the only difference versus wide dropping versus top dress. And it was 300 pounds difference. And it was very, very eye-opening, very eye-opening.